Okay, so let us continue on configuring our building to switch ports. So right click on the building to switch, then click edit attributes. Then click the switch port configuration value to open the switch port configuration table. And let us drag back our links attribute window as which serves as our cheat sheet. And let us find out what are the workstations that are connected building to switch. So for the billing workstations, it shows that they are connected at P0, P1, P10, P11, and P12. So let's go ahead and edit the billing parameters for P0. So click default, then click edit, and set the VLAN identifier to 10 since it's for the VLAN workstations. Then set the supported VLANs identifier to 10 and click OK. Then click OK again. Next is P1. So change the VLAN identifier to 10 and the supported VLANs to identifier 10. Then click OK. Then click OK again. The next are P10, P11, and P12. Alright, so under VLAN parameters column, click edit and set the identifier to 10 and the supported VLANs to 10. Then click OK, then click OK again. Same thing on P11. Set it to 10, then the identifier to 10, then click OK, then click OK again. And lastly, for the billing workstations is the P12. So let's change that to the VLAN identifier 10 and the supported VLANs identifier 210 and then click OK then click OK again to save the changes okay so move the switch port configuration a little bit and let us check where our sales workstation are connected at so for our sales workstation they are connected at P13, P14, P15, P2 and P3 so let's go ahead and change P2 and P3 first so under VLAN, under VLAN parameters, click edit, then change the VLAN identifier to 20 since it's for the sales workstation. Alright, so 20, then click OK, then click OK again. Then the next one is P3. So set the VLAN identifier to 20 and the supported VLAN identifier to 20 again, then click OK, then click OK. And next, P13, P14. So let us change this to 20. Okay. And P14. Okay, change the identifier to 20. Then click OK. Then click OK again. Then lastly, for the source workstation, is the P15. Okay, so change the identifier to 20 and the supported VLAN identifier to 20, then click OK, then click OK again. Okay, so let us check on our links attribute window if there are still ports that we need to configure in our building to switch. Okay, shows that the P4 of building to switch is connected to the P3 of the second floor switch. Therefore, we need to set our P4 to trunk since it's a trunk link. Okay, so set that to trunk and then set this to 1 because it's a trunk link and then set the supported balance for the 3 department. So we have to set this to 3 and set it to 10, 20 for the sales, 30 for the tech department then click OK then click OK again to save the changes the next are the tech workstations which are connected from P5 to P9 to set it to VLAN identifier 30 because it's for the tech department okay so let's just continuously set it to 30 for our for the VLAN identifiers, okay, so set this to 30, set the supported VLANs to 30, then click OK. The next is the P8, which 
is also a port of one of our tech workstations click 30 then click OK then click OK then finally it's the P9 for our tech workstations so it's 30 set this to 30 then click OK then click OK again okay so go ahead and click OK to save the changes then click OK again for the building to switch attributes window to save all the changes and we can now close our links attribute window since we're done configuring all the switches and click OK or click the X button 